Last week I participated in Google Hashcode 2022 qualification round and I didn't perform well. The problem was about assigning developers to projects. Every developer has some skills like HTML skill 4, CSS skill 6 and you need to level up while doing some projects to then increase your skill and attend other projects and just uh, it wasn't my best performance. Our team was ranked 213, let me minimize this, with the total score of 3.1 million and in the past I always got to the finals and I even once won the qualification round. Uh, my best final score was uh, fourth place and I'm saying I, we, uh, it's a team competition, a team of four and just uh, this time we didn't do well, but in particular I'm not happy about my performance, so I want to talk about that today. But first, sponsor time. This first day is Reply Code Challenge competition, which is just like Hashcode, an optimization problem for hours, nice prizes, MacBook Pros, so check it out. I participated a few times in the past, even won some editions. Uh, for example, the problem last year was about placing antennas on a map, so you would cover multiple buildings and yeah, you needed to I don't know, maximize the coverage, minimize the cost, something like that. It was a cool problem. Uh, last year I didn't win or my team didn't win. Uh, two years ago we did. So see you in the leaderboard in three days on Thursday. But now back to Google Hashcode problem. I, during the contest, started with just implementing reading the input. Maybe we should take a look at my code. Uh, reading the input, creating some structs for developer, for the project, uh, assigning something randomly, computing the score, stuff like that. Then I started working on a greedy algorithm that would sort projects by something, or maybe always uh, we choose a project with maximum something, maybe number of uh, number of programmers who can skill up or the total score divided by time wasted. I tried various formulas and during that time then my one of my teammates tried a similar greedy and basically we were doing equivalent work which is a bad thing. That's the first mistake we made. Uh, one other guy tried this magical solver where possibly if he succeeds maybe he would get very very nice scores. But now I think it was a mistake to take such a risk because at the end the solver wasn't good enough or maybe it wasn't fast enough and we should have played it safe. We shouldn't have tried to get you know top three and instead focused on getting to the finals and then one out of four people in a team, if one person is doing something independently and possibly that will not work, this is a big risk. So now I think that this was a mistake. Uh, one person uh, analyzed tests and in F there was this structure of um, different projects requiring your C++ or something skill equal to 1, then 2, then 3 and so on. So you could create a ladder out of it. And my teammate tried making a particular solution for this test. Uh, and also tests D and E had similar special structure, but he just didn't make it in time. In last 5 or 10 minutes, we together, the two of us, we were working on that, but we needed to use my solution and his solution. They were not fully compatible and we didn't finish in time, sadly. Maybe that would give us the half a million extra points. I don't know. But now I think what... Uh, so here, this is clearly a mistake. We were doing something very similar. We both tried uh, choosing a nice project to do next. And instead, one of us should have tried something completely different like making optimizations to a solution. Here, none of those solutions, after doing everything, it tried optimizing it, it tried uh, correcting or improving the score, which is very important, but here we thought making any change at the beginning changes everything, because people will be available at different times after finishing projects, they will have different skills, but I now understand that still, what we should have tried is start with some order of projects, and then in this order, for every project in some greedy way, assign developers for this project, but this should be a fixed order of doing projects. Compute the score, let's say score is 1000 in this case, and then try random changes of this order, still applying the same greedy function to what happens if we fix the order of project. So let's say that I swap P5 with P3, 
and I compute the new score. So if I decide to do projects in this order, then maybe the score is 1005. Great, then this order of doing project is better, better. So let's try now modifying this thing. A smart version of that is called simulated annealing. Here we can just call it climbing up the hill, uh, where you keep making changes, hoping to improve the score, at least not to mess it up. And it's not necessarily better than what we tried, but it's for sure different. And we should have tried such multiple approaches and uh, maybe this would work. Also, with my greedy approach, I didn't focus on leveling, leveling up people enough. Uh, so I still use that in my scoring function. We can look what I used at the end, uh, what is here. Score is the score gained minus five times the time wasted doing this project plus the number of people who leveled up multiplied by 10. I see here that I also tried multiplying it by 40,000. So, you know, really caring about programmers who will increase their skill. And I think that I had a bug because my teammate did something equivalent and actually increased the score in one of the tests at the end by a lot, by a few hundred thousand, if I remember correctly. So maybe I had a bug in my code. I'm not sure, but I'm not happy that I you know, incorrectly discarded the idea of doing something like this at the beginning of a contest. Then I think this is a list of our mistakes. Oh, when reading, after reading the input, I created structs with maps. I had a map from skill to the skill level. Uh, so all the strings like C++, I of course mapped into integers from zero to something. But still, then I used a map, like map from int to int, and that's like 20 times slower than using an array. So that was a huge mistake. Uh, then two of us in a team, we were doing similar greedy and we basically, one of us was wasting time for sure. We didn't communicate enough as well. Uh, one of us took a risk with Gurabi Solver. And uh, we none of us, except for a person who tried solving test F in a special way. None of us focused that much on leveling up, which turned out at the end to be extremely important in those big tests like DEF. I think that I have I had a bug and generally we didn't have a strong teamwork. And I'm not here blaming somebody in my team. I think that I messed up, not less than any, anybody else. Uh, but yeah, those are just mistakes that we need to take into consideration next time. Uh, making a bug, of course, is understandable. <laughs> of course, I can practice more, but other things could be avoided. Like we should have, the two of us should have talked about what we are doing like every half an hour at least. And at the end, as I told you, it turned out that my teammate improved my score actually implementing very, very similar logic. So because I had a bug, it was beneficial that he did the same thing. But still, do, us doing two different things, for sure, would have bigger expected value of our score. Just after uploading this video, I'm going to go live on Twitch, actually trying this strategy of uh, changing project orders. So I'm going to do some absolving of this Google hash code problem. Go to twitch.tv slash Erikto to see my live stream and that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Check out the Replied Code Challenge. See you in the leaderboard on Thursday. Bye.